had the Diamond Dialogue session here at JCK Vegas, and you mentioned right at the top about the Kimberly process members not reaching consensus on Zimbabwe. Tell me what that's about. Consensus actually means a unanimous consent by all participants, all the countries who are members of the Kimberley process, observers like uh, civil societies and the World Diamond Council do not vote on any issues uh, in front of the Kimberley process. And the consensus at the moment, of course, is centered around Zimbabwe or the lack of consensus, let's say. Okay. So if there's one country that does not agree with all the others, it does not meet consensus. Exactly. Any country can veto any decision. Okay. Now, do you believe that there will be consensus on the Zimbabwe export issue anytime soon? Is there maybe a time frame that this could be reached? Very recently in Dubai, the Working Group on Monitoring held an extraordinary session and a consensus in the committee was reached where in presence were uh, India, China, uh, the United States, uh, Australia, the NGOs, the industries, the United Arab Emirates, and India, and some other countries there we did reach a consensus. Uh, we need that consensus, of course, to be uh, more wide than all plenary and all participants to agree to it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, once we get over the mistrust that exists today and the prejudices about this mistrust, I think that uh, an agreement is possible because taking the chairman's uh, administrative decision and the decision that was arrived at in Dubai, the differences are very minor. Uh, there is more procedural problem there, and I think that they can be overcome. Now, right now, is there any rough diamond smuggling out of Zimbabwe? Of course, there are many reports out there that the, there is smuggling going on, and that underscores the need to resolve the situation, because diamonds are come in very small packages, and they do find their way out like any other product that when you prohibit it, it goes the illegal way. And as I said, that underscores the need for all of us to reach an agreement to bring the diamonds back into a legal export. Now, on the issue on human rights, specifically in the Marangi fields, is there human rights violations continuing right now? I could not tell you about uh, a human rights violation uh, uh, taking place right now. The Kimberley process judges human rights violations by its review missions and it had two review missions. It had one uh, a few months ago, uh, uh, actually last year, in the middle of last year, and then it had one later on in the year. And the first one was very negative. The second one showed tremendous progress uh, towards the elimination of uh, human rights violations. Um, to such a degree that the working group on monitoring felt that exports can proceed from uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, are they perfect? Uh, is everything perfect there? Uh, I cannot attest to that. But uh, that major progress that was made is due to the Kimberley Process uh, Certification Scheme. And because of this uh, monitoring uh, mission that went over there and came with a negative report the first time, apparently, it did help, and the situation got much better later on. What are your personal views of how the industry is going to move forward here? I mean, it was mentioned today during the session how incredibly concerned the industry is in solving these issues. We must solve the issue because, as you mentioned before, diamonds find a way illegally out. And what happens 
it is unfair to the people who deal legally in diamonds. Anytime you have illegal diamonds flow out, it means they would flow out at the lesser price. It will co compete in the legal market out there. It will uh, actually be a weak link in the chain of the Kimberley process, and the chain is as strong as its weaker link. So we must have all the change just as strong, and therefore, the faster we resolve the issue, and it's not a question about loving Zimbabwe or wanting Zimbabwe to come in because it's Zimbabwe. The question is, there is a producing country out there that produces a significant uh, amount of rough, and for them to be in the system is much better than they are out of the system. So therefore, the way we view this thing is, they must come into compliance, into full compliance with the Kimberley Process Certification Scheme. And once they do that, we may have them proceed with exports. When will we know the next steps? Will it be right after the Canadian meeting coming up? I think that, uh, 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 as I said, I'm uh, um, cautiously optimistic. I've been optimistic before and I was proven wrong because, again, we need consensus and one party can just nix the whole thing. And that, again, underscores the need for what I said in our meeting, that I would love to see a supermajority, because every decision uh, could be vetoed by one, one country. Uh, but I am hopeful that reasoning will prevail. And as I said, the differences are not that big. I think that they're narrow enough that we can breach the gap. Thank you very much for meeting with us today. Thank you. Thank you.